Hello everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom with me, Lavinia, for your February 1st to 7th, 2016 reading. If you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your loyal support, knowing that I decided to step out of the box and do something different. And using my virtual decks as my divination tool enables me to clearly show that Spirit is there waiting to assist and give guidance and assistance when called upon. For those of you who embrace the message, my sincere love and gratitude to you. Those of you who don't embrace the message and only see the divination tool and don't think I'm the right reader for you. Hope you find the right one and know that I love you anyway. And for those of you who enjoy my messages, I ask that you continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love. For a personal reading with me, please visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.webly.com Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com Today the decks that I'm going to be using are the Ask Angels, the Love Oracle, the Spirit Guide Oracle, and the Angel Feather Oracle. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Air Signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Thank you and welcome. I've already connected with Spirit and have asked for the most important messages for you for this week. On to the Spirit Guide. Oracle. And we have responsibility. Don't feel like a victim. You probably feel like you've been chained or, or held hostage to a situation that you have no control over. And take responsibility for all your creations because every act is an active act of creation. You must realize, despite society's proclamations, to the contrary, there truly are no victims or victimizers. There are only co-creators. To deny that is to deny your own power to create whatever you want. You are not a victim of weather, you are not a victim of people, governments, etc. It's time for you to step out of the box and take responsibility for your act in creating. You are not a pawn buffed about by the powers that be. You are not lost and you definitely don't need to be saved. When you take responsibility for everything that you have created, if you have a problem with where you are with the creative process you could always start over but when you feel like a victim what happens is you tell yourself negative things the universe is gonna hold back and not want to assist you in creating because you're blaming the universe you don't have to be like oh why god why is it me why you know take responsibility okay take responsibility don't create by default by taking responsibility for every act of your creative process okay you are working in tandem with the universe that way the universe can deliver to you your heart's longings on to the angel feather to let you know for a message from the angels for this week because when you take responsibility there is an open door the angels are offering you the burnt angel feather as a symbol of an open door the angels ask you to be very observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity it's the burnt angel feather and the angels are saying it's a strong call to work on the sacral chakra okay feeling comfortable in your body rejuvenating yourself going out there okay creating not having fear being secure and stable within yourself that way you can project it on to others and to the universe so, so you can see this window of opportunity being presented to you. The, bin, the burnt angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of opportunity. The angels know that you have been experiencing muddled emotions recently. The angels are about to open a door 
of opportunity for you and they say it's going to be an exciting opportunity do not be afraid ask for angelic assistance every step of the way and be observant your affirmation is i am open to new opportunities i'm able to decide on the right opportunities for me to learn and grow i attract the right opportunity at the right time i have complete clarity so it's feeling burnt emotionally creative creative endeavor okay so pay attention to the signs the symbols the synchronicities and if you are like me you sometimes overthink things ask for clear symbols that you understand okay as to how your team communicates to you so that you won't miss the guidance and miss this amazing window of opportunity okay so on to the ask angels oracle to let you know which guardian you are going to be working with very closely for this week to assist you in exploring this amazing window of opportunity And we have Archangel Michael with Step Back and Observe. And Archangel Michael is the Archangel second only to God. And um, he's asking that you step back in perspective and just observe. Your, your thought processes become a lot clearer. And you, you remove yourself from situations. Don't be quick to rush into action. Yeah? See the bigger picture. Remove yourself. See yourself as a falcon and step, rise up above the earth and onto the cloud and up into the heavens and see yourself looking down upon yourself. That way your decisions and your thought processes can be a lot clearer. Archangel Michael can also assist in cutting cords of attachment in this lifetime and any other lifetime that you have not healed yourself. So call on him, ask for all cords to be cut. With regards to choice and free will, the angels will not come in unless you invite them in. So check out um, the Archangel Invocation on my YouTube channel and invite Archangel Michael in this week. To assist you and it's also a call to to give thanks for what you have be grateful and inner well of peace and love can be found within you the keys to step back and observe just be open your heart and step back in perspective now as if you are looking down upon yourself from above breathe and notice you are able to simply observe so this is a valuable tool that the angels want me to share with you for times or when the environment on earth is chaotic you can see you can observe and just be be peace okay so zen this week chaos may erupt around you but through this valuable skill this valuable tool you will be able to just step back in perspective and observe just finding that inner well of peace within the self so on to the love oracle to, for a message with regards to love, romance, for this week. And if you're not currently coupled, take this message and take it as to how it applies to those in your environment, family, friends, co-workers. Love is an energy that needs to be shared. Love is an energy that is the highest energy. So if, if it's not love, it's hate. And we can't manifest, we can't co-create with the universe with negative energies. Okay? The heart always knows what we need, what we want, what we desire, where we're heading, where we're going what we need to take with us on our mission, who we need. There will be a change in your relationship. And as we all know, since change is the number one constant in, in our lives, 
change could be good or bad okay it's the number one constant nothing exists without change so see every act of change as an opportunity for growth an opportunity to re redirect your life to how you want it your design your heart's longing okay see every act of creation as an opportunity for change the same way you know we change from season to season change is the number one constant and it's an everyday process so guys if i have not captured your situation remember this is a general reading for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below also like our facebook page don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want to support my services, check out the links in the description box below. I look forward to seeing you with me for another wonderful reading and amazing energies next week. Namaste.